Is Walmart shutting down overnight parking? Stay tuned and we'll answer that in this video. Over the last year, we stayed at hundreds of Walmarts. And in this video, we're gonna tell you our thoughts on overnight parking at Walmart. We're gonna tell you why you can't stay at some Walmarts, or some advice, and then we're going to give you our thoughts on if we think Walmart is gonna shut down overnight parking. First, we're gonna talk about why some Walmarts don't allow overnight parking. Number one is, and this is probably the biggest reason, is they do not own the parking lot. So sometimes the Walmart doesn't actually own the parking lot that is for the Walmart parking. And so since they don't own it, they can't make the law. And then the people that actually own the parking lot do not allow the overnight parking. Number two, the Walmart is located in a bad area. So some of the Walmarts that you can stay at, they're not in a very good part of town. There can be a lot of break-ins, a lot of theft that happens in the parking lot. So what they do is they don't allow overnight parking so they can kind of control who's parking there and keep an eye on it. And there's usually security guards, or there can be at those ones, and they will, um, if you're parked for a long period of time, then they will tell you to leave, or call the cops, or tell you. The third reason why some Walmarts don't allow overnight parking is because there's a city ordinance. Usually this will be in resort towns, um, they have a city ordinance where you can't stay overnight in the lot because it'll take away from the local business. There's other businesses in the area, like campgrounds and other types of resort parks that need the business so then they will not let you park overnight in their city. These are the main reasons why Walmarts do not allow overnight parking and when we traveled we did find that we could stay at a lot of these Walmarts but not every Walmart allows you to stay there so in the next section we're going to give you some advice on how to find the Walmarts that let you stay there overnight. We put together some tips for you so you can find Walmarts to stay at in your area when you're traveling and you can avoid being frustrated when you show up in the middle of the night and find out that there's no parking signs in the lot. Tip number one, to avoid frustration, do not assume that you can stay at every Walmart because there are probably about half that you can't. I don't know, this is a rough number I'm guessing, but there are a lot that you can and there are a lot that you can't, so just don't, don't make any assumptions. Tip number two, research ahead of time before you get there. You don't want to show up in the middle of the night, one in the morning, get to the lot, want to go to sleep, and then realize you got to drive two more hours to get to a Walmart you can stay at. So do your research. We use a bunch of different apps. Uh, the one that we use the most probably for finding Walmarts is Camp and RV. And then we also use an iOverlander app. And they usually have information. The reviews are somewhat old sometimes. But you can usually tell on there using the apps which Walmarts do and don't allow you to stay. There's only been like one or two times out of hundreds that we went to a Walmart that said we could stay and we couldn't. So the, app, the apps are pretty accurate and the Camp and RV app cost us like 10 bucks, but it was well worth the investment, especially if you're traveling full time and you want to stay at a Walmart. Tip number three, don't let Walmart be your only option. So you, you're traveling around, you want to make sure that you have a backup plan. Uh, look at the maps, find some other places to park. There's plenty of places to park. It is a little more difficult and Walmarts are usually easy to stay at, but, but just always have a backup plan just in case you get there and you can't stay. We always like to have at least two options for places to park when we go to a new place if the Walmart doesn't work out. The Walmarts are nice and easy. They usually work out good, but sometimes they don't. So make sure you have a backup plan. You can use freecampsites.net to, or iOverlander to find other places to stay in the area that aren't Walmarts. Walmarts are nice if you're traveling quick and you're trying to get a spot to stay and then move along, but if you're gonna be in an area for a while, you're not gonna wanna stay there. So use those apps, find some, find some backup plans. Tip number four, if you wanna be able to keep staying at Walmarts, be respectful of the lot. It's not a campsite. We've seen people while we're traveling who have done questionable things and I mean, sitting in lawn chairs and generators and awnings up. I mean, you don't need to do all that at the Walmart. It's a place to sleep. They're giving you a free spot to stay for the night. Be respectful of the area and clean up after yourself because it wrecks it for everyone. So that's our four tips. And now we're gonna tell you our thoughts on whether or not we think Walmarts are closing or not. I think you can probably guess what our thought is, but stay tuned and we're gonna talk about it. So here are our final thoughts. Is Walmart shutting down overnight parking? I think you might have guessed it, 
but we don't really think so. Three years ago when we started researching about how to travel around the country in our van, we kept hearing this thing like Walmart is shutting down overnight parking. That was three years ago and we haven't noticed that like some Walmart shut down their overnight parking, some of them you still can. So we haven't noticed like a big deal where every Walmart shutting down is overnight parking. So really, I don't think that Walmart will in the near future. Although it is a possibility if people wreck the lots and leave garbage lay and aren't very respectful, it could happen. I mean, they're a private business. If they want to shut down overnight parking, they can just shut down overnight parking. It won't be that hard. So we don't think that they will necessarily but just be respectful. We've been traveling around the country for a year now and we've been able to stay at plenty of Walmarts, but we want your thoughts. What are your opinions? Um, do you think that Walmart is shutting down its overnight parking or do you think that it won't? Leave us a comment below. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when we post a new video. We're gonna start doing more of these tutorial and tip videos. Uh, it seems like people, more people are interested in that than our travels. We're still doing a travel video, but we're going to do more of these tip videos as well. So just remember, let us know your thoughts, and we'll see you next time. See ya.